Um, but seeing we've gone down the cheap potato pie supper route, um, my mind was made up to be honest. Um, we had a pre season cricket meeting to discuss the prospects for this year. We'd lost a few players in uh, Ollie Making, Harvey Fitton, Nick Briley, and we were unsure of a few others' availability. We also knew that some others had strengthened, in particular Littleborough. And I guess the overall feeling coming out of that meeting was that we were never going to match last year. But we'd have the chance to blood some younger players and remain competitive. Well, we started well enough on that path, winning well against Monson, with two 50s from our younger end. Ash Gowers, new recruit, had a great season. And of course, Don Humphreys. But in the second game, we lost a little bit of comfortable. And the previous season's achievement seemed a distant memory. But without setting the world alight, we rumbled on. We were different to last year. But we won the next four games with a crucial win against Walsden, thanks to an inspired spell of 7 for 23 from Ashen Malik. We also added Chris Hartley, who it seems ludicrous to say now, started in the second team. And he was taking early wickets regularly. Surprising everybody in the league. Nobody could see what was coming really with him. And Salpi, again, got well into his stride. Um, batting unbelievable. Keeping us in a lot of games. But in the main, we were struggling with the bat. We progressed in the Cups with Highlight coming at Farmer's Social Circle. I don't think I've ever involved, been involved in such an incredible finish to a cricket match at this level. We were dead and buried. With them needing only a 25 with five wickets left in hand. There's a pretty special run out from the pro which started things off but then stepped up a very fired up cousin. He cleaned up four in an over, including putting someone on the seat of his pants. Spread there all fours whilst he said, how'd you like that for a first ball? Bit harsh, especially when his face is in the dirt, but an unbelievable end to an incredible game. The season ebbed a little with disappointing defeats at Unsworth and Rochdale, but a turning point in the season came with damaging back-to-back -back defeats at Walsden and then gloss up in the Lancashire Cup. We weren't helped that weekend by losing two of the first team at 10am for the whole weekend, but thankfully that problem seems to have drifted off to Crimble. This setback could have gone either way. We were now further depleted in numbers and also in confidence. But thanks to the spirit of the lads who probably weren't expecting to feature, to be fair, in the first team much, they gave everything for us. The lads such as Greg Tapp, Phil Docker, Dino, Phil Collinson, all came in, made contributions when they could, but more the spirit that they brought to the team. And we went on an incredible run. We won 10 from the last 11 games, with the only defeat being in the 2020 semi-final at Rochdale. In that run, we had a special 76 not out from the 15-year-old, the man-child, Rayan, in a Wood Cup semi-final away at Littleborough. Hopefully we'll see a lot more of this lad's undoubted ability next year. Also, out from his own obscurity, Dan Buckley made some great contributions, with the most notable being his Man of the Match 45, which helped set a target that we were able to defend and then retain the Wood Cup. Sorry to his mum for making him feel in front of the big, bad Roy and fans. I should have picked one of the bigger lads, to be fair. Simon Harmon, Ash Gowers also massively contributed in these games towards the back end of the season. But as with the start of the season, it was the bowling attack of Smith, Malik, Salpi and Cousin, which were making it difficult for anyone to get a meaningful score against us. Smithy and Hash also on a number of occasions between them saved us from embarrassment with the bat. With Hash's six in the last over, when we were nine down to win against Rochdale, giving us a win to really savour. Beating Walsden again in a low scoring game, ending us with bowling them out for under 60, again Asham featuring heavily in that, meant we had the chance to claim the league, ironically away again at Wrighton. We duly did that to cap another amazing season. To do the double is an achievement of which the players should be immensely proud. Many have contributed and rightly we celebrated as a club. But it hasn't just been a double. It's been a double-double. And all I can say is, what are we going to call it next year when we win the lot? 
Anyway, thanks very much. Enjoy your evening. Sorry I couldn't be there. Bye-bye.